We'll start um, standing up for today. So you need a, for today's class, you're going to need a strap. Um, and we'll come to the front of the mat and we'll start in Tadasana. So if you get a hold of your strap, if you don't have a strap, don't worry. You can just do arm circles um, or something instead. This is just going to open up your overhead movement range. So if you've got a strap, grab a hold of one end, hold the other end. And we're just going to do 10 simple pass throughs. So you're inhaling to lift the strap up and over and then exhaling as you bring it all the way back. If you don't have a strap, you can either just do arm circles or... You can just um, flag your shoulders as well. So you can keep your arms up at a narrower width and just flag them as well to open up that overhead range. So just take it nice and slow. If you find that after a few of these rotations, you begin to get a bit more mobile, you can take another turn in on that strap, narrow your grip slightly, just work into those shoulder joints. Think about also pulling those shoulders away from the ears. So don't hunch up as you do this. Try and be nice and loose around the neck. I'm going to do two more each way. And then just simply release the strap on that 10th one and come back to centre. From here, we're just going to inhale to lift one arm all the way up, reaching up tall. Feel that extension in the side body. And as you exhale, reach all the way over to the opposite side. Inhale all the way back to centre. Lifting up the other arm, feel that extension in the side body on the other side, and then exhale as you reach over to the opposite side. Inhale back to center. We're just going to do three of these on each side, just taking it nice and slow, really noticing and taking note of how that extension in that side body feels as you reach over. Maybe even adjusting and reaching further, easing your way into the stretch. Last one on this side. And then from here, we're going to take the arms out wide and then we're just going to wrap them as we look over the shoulder and twist behind. So we're doing about six to eight rotations on each side. Inhale to lift, exhale to wrap. And again, think about lifting and lengthening through the spine. Last one each side and then come back to center. From here, we're going to inhale as we take a nice deep breath in, reaching up tall, exhale, come all the way down, bend at the knees and draw the chest over the thighs, crown the head towards the floor and then just take opposite hand to opposite elbow for a ragdoll forward fold variation. Just take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you exhale, see if you can fold deeper. You can rock from side to side, bounce up and down whatever you need to do to just get deeper into this posture. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then on the next inhale, we're going to come all the way up. Take the hands up behind the back of the head and we're gonna come into a standing crescent. So interlace your fingers, clasp the back of the head and then think about inhaling as you lift and lengthen, lifting through the heart, take your eye gaze up to the ceiling and then exhale as you take a small bend in the spine to look up and back. Inhale to lift. And then exhale as you go back again. Inhale to lift. Reaching up tall. Exhale, come all the way back down into that ragdoll. Take another three breaths. So taking opposite hand to opposite elbow, drawing that chest over the thighs. You might find you just need to take a slightly smaller bend in the knees this time. Working into those glutes, those hamstrings, and of course that lower back. And then replace the hands to the floor. And then on your next inhale, we're going to slide the hands up the shins and find a halfway lift. Sending the hips back, straightening through the legs. So feel that stretch in the hamstrings and then squeeze those shoulder blades back and down to find that nice strong parallel to the floor back position with a nice neutral neck. Take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, fold all the way down. Plant the hands on the floor, and then we're going to take the right foot back into a low lunge. So left foot forwards, right knee goes to the floor. Inhale as you lift and reach through the heart, finding a nice long spine in that low lunge position. Take a few deep breaths here. Feel that stretch in the hip flexor as you exhale and sink deeper into the lunge. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. 
and then we're going to take our hands off the floor. So if you need to, take a slightly wider stance in your low lunge to make sure that you've got a nice stable base. And we're going to inhale to lift up through the hips, so lifting the spine out of the pelvis, lifting up tall. Exhale to release that left hand to the left side. You can even place it on the floor if you need to, and then reach all the way over to the left. So you should feel this stretch in the hip flexor, maybe in the IT band. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale as you come all the way up. Place the hands on the floor, and we're gonna come into a kind of a half split variation, but not quite as deep. So we're going to exhale as we pull back, straightening that front leg and folding, reaching our nose towards our toes, and then inhaling to come back to that lunge. Exhaling to pull back, inhaling to come forward. So we're just going to do five or so of these, sitting back and sitting forwards. So that's three, four, last one, five. Come back to that kneeling position in your low lunge and keeping the right hand glued to the floor, you're going to take the left hand forwards, palms facing down as you inhale, reach as far forwards as you can, sending that left knee out to the side and as you exhale, reach all the way over to the right. Inhale back to center, exhale as you reach over to the right. So you should feel this in the shoulder and the upper lap. We're just doing five kneeling sweeps with our palm down. Two more to go. And then come back to center. Take the hand forward with the palm up now as you inhale. You won't be able to go as far, but you're just going to reach over to the right again and you should feel this a little bit further down in the waist and the hip. Inhale back to center, exhale, inhale. So five again. And then come all the way back to center. Replace the hand, step back to down facing dog, pedal out the feet. Maybe take a few pulses through the shoulders, sending those hips up high. And then on the next inhale, step through with your right foot forwards into that low lunge. So we'll repeat on the other side. So setting yourself up in that nice low lunge, find that stretch in that left hip flexor this time. Inhale as you pull the chest through, reaching the heart forwards to find that nice long neutral spine. Take three deep breaths. And then on the next one, we're going to inhale as we lift and reach again. Remember that steady stance if you need to take slightly wider. Reaching up tall, extending, taking that right hand to the side or even to the floor. And then exhaling as you reach all the way over to the right. Inhaling to come back up to center. And then exhaling again. And then just hold for two more deep breaths here. Feeling that stretch in that left hip flexor and in the side body. And then inhale as you come all the way back up to center. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Inhale as you straighten that front leg, flex the toes. Exhale, nose towards toes for that seated pullback or half split variation. And then inhale as we come through to lunge. And again, just five of these on this side. Exhaling to come back and fold. Inhaling to reset in lunge. Exhale, inhale, exhale. One more to go, inhale, exhale. From here, you're just going to step your hands, sorry, take your hands either side of the, um, take the right hands, let's, let's restart, tongue twister. So left hand goes glued to the floor, you're taking the right hand through and reaching forwards, palm facing down for that kneeling sweep. So inhale to reach, exhale to sweep over to the right, in, uh, left, sorry, inhale to come back to the center, exhale to sweep. So you're just doing five of these each side, each way, sorry. So last one, palm down and then come back. 
Reset with the palm facing up. So inhale as you reach forwards, palm facing up and feel that stretch come a little bit further down this time in the side body, the waist and the hip rather than the lat and the shoulder. Once you've finished five each way, reset your hands either side of your feet, step back to down facing dog and we're going to take a real slow chaturanga. So with a chaturanga, we're not going to go through that high plank position. Instead, we're going to take the elbows and option to do this on the knees if you need to, but you're going to take the chest towards the floor and really slowly press all the way through and up into Cobra. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, exhale, and then inhale as you come back up onto your toes and come back to down facing dog as you exhale. So I'll demonstrate the next one on my knees. So we're gonna do that once more. So if you're coming to your knees, simply drop the knees, sit back as if you're in a kind of extended child's pose or puppy pose, and then you're gonna scoop the chest through. So really focus on bracing that core, bracing your shoulder girdles, and then scooping all the way through and up into Cobra. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And of course, you can always come to Sphinx if this was too much for your lower back. And then we're gonna come up onto our hands and knees. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're just going to do one cat cow. So you're going to inhale as you squeeze the shoulder blades back and down, dip the spine and look up towards the ceiling. And then exhale as you press the ground away and come into that cow position. From here, we're going to inhale to come back to center, exhale to come back to a child's pose, but we're going to take the crown of the head to the floor and the arms are gonna go either side. So it's actually called rabbit's pose. So you're taking, you're coming into a more bent position. Your bum will come off the floor and the thoracic spine is really bent in the upper back, kind of folding over. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, inhale to come all the way up and we're gonna come into a scat press now. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You are just moving the area of your upper body between your shoulder blades. The rest of your lower back should remain still. So you're keeping the arms straight and you're just gonna simply let the chest drop through, squeezing the shoulder blades together and then pressing the ground away and pulling the shoulder blades apart. Inhale to squeeze, exhale to push the ground away. We're just going to do three more of those. So this is working your scapula, your rhomboids, all the stabilizing muscles around your shoulders. Last one. And then return back to a neutral position. Staying on your hands and knees, option to do this in plank if you want a more advanced position, but staying on your hands and knees, we're just going to do three bird dogs on each side. So taking right hand forward, left leg goes back, reaching out long, finding that nice neutral parallel position to the floor, and then exhaling as you crunch knee to elbow. Inhale to kick back. Try and keep your hips nice and level, so brace that core, brace those shoulders. Exhale to crunch. Last one on this side, and then we'll switch and then replace the hand and the knee to the floor and switch sides. So left arm goes long, right leg goes back. Exhale as you crunch, try and keep that nice neutral spine. So think about having a glass of water on your back. You do not want to spill that glass of water. So keep those hips level to the ground and then replace the hands. And then we're gonna press up into um, down facing dog. So tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. Pedal it out for just a moment. And then inhale as you take one leg up high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, and then swing the leg through, plant the foot. Back foot goes down 45 degree angle and we're coming up into warrior one. Inhale, warrior one, exhale, sink into that lunge. Inhale to lift the hips and twist into the long edge of the mat, exhale, warrior two. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, can you sink any deeper? Inhale to lift, exhale, take that elbow to the front knee and then reach over as you inhale into extended side angle pose. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, release that hand on the knee to the floor and extend the leg as you inhale into extended triangle pose. Option to stay in that side angle pose if you wanted to. From here, we're then going to take it through into half moon. So get ready to send your weight forwards 
over that front leg, scooting the, left, uh, the back leg back behind you and then inhaling to lift and open into half moon pose. See if you can hold for five, four, three, two, one. Then bring the palms together and swivel the hips around coming into tree pose. So ankle, foot can go on ankle, calf or inner thigh. Yogi's choice, palms together, hands to heart. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale and then step that leg back and come into a low lunge, dropping the back knee to the floor. So left foot is still very much forwards, right foot is back behind you. Take a nice deep breath in, roll those shoulders back and down. And then as you exhale, we're gonna scoop back into three leg down facing dog with the left foot high to the sky. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, bend at the knee, take a hip twist. And then as you inhale, come back up to center, sweep the leg through as you exhale, coming into pigeon pose on the left side. Untuck the back foot, press into the ground, open up that right hip flexor. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then swivel around onto your sit bones as you bring that left sole of the foot in towards the inner right thigh and come into half head to knee pose. So inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale as you fold over that leg, bringing the chest towards the thigh, head towards the knee. Inhale as you come all the way back up. Left hand goes behind you on the floor. Lift and reach as you inhale and then exhale to come into that kneeling back bend. Swivel all the way back round as you exhale, come back to down facing dog and we'll repeat that sequence on the other side. So this time right foot goes high to the sky. Three leg down facing dog. Swing the leg through as you exhale, plant it between the hands. Back foot goes down at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, warrior one. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, sink into that lunge. Inhale to lift and twist, exhale, warrior two. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, squeeze those inner thighs. Inhale, exhale, drop the elbow to the knee, reach over as you inhale into that side angle pose. And then if you want to, stay here. If you want to progress, inhale as you straighten that front leg. Exhale, reach the hand to the floor and open into triangle pose. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then when you're ready, we're gonna come into that half moon. So taking the weight over that front leg, see if you can just lift into that half moon position. So with the hips stacked and the body open to the long edge of the mat, hold for three, two, one, and then as you exhale, drop that hip round, come into tree pose, whether that's ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Palms together at the heart. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, send that leg back, come into low lunge on the right side. So dropping that back knee to the floor, reaching the heart forwards, finding that stretch in the hip flexor. And as you exhale, we're swinging through with that right leg all the way through into down facing dog, three leg down facing dog. So right leg is high to the sky. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, bend at the knee, take a hip twist. Inhale back up to center and then swing that leg through as you exhale into pigeon on the right side. Sending the left leg back, untucking the toes, pressing into the ground and opening up that left hip flexor. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale and then we're going to swivel around into half head to knee pose. So left leg goes long, right sole of the foot comes in towards the left thigh. Inhale to lift and lengthen, exhale to fold. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale and then inhale as you windmill the arms all the way up and over. Left, right hand goes back behind you on the floor. Inhale to lift and reach with the left hand up towards the ceiling. And then exhale as you come all the way back to down facing dog. From here, we're going to either take a vinyasa or a chaturanga, yogi's choice, through to cobra. So you're going to inhale as you scoop all the way up and through. Obviously, option to do sphinx if you want to. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, release the body to the floor. Come into your prone position. Take your hands out slightly wider. Roll the shoulders back and down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, and as we inhale, we're going to peel the body away from the floor. Back up into cobra. Exhale to fold, inhale to lift, exhale to lower, one more, 
Inhale to lift and hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release your body to the floor and then take your hands out wide. We're going to come into scorpion pose. So hands out wide, palms facing down and you're going to inhale to lift your left leg up and over, reach it all the way over towards the right. Option to then take that left hand underneath the left shoulder and just press into the ground to open up that right shoulder even more. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way back up, back to center, reaching out long with the left hand this time. Exhale as you reset in the center. And then inhale to take that right leg up and over, reaching for that left foot, uh, left hand, sorry, and taking the right hand underneath the right shoulder, opening up that left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way back up to center. Exhale, push back to extended child's pose. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come up onto your hands and knees. Press back into down facing dog. Walk the feet all the way in towards the hands. Take a moment there in a forward fold. Find length. Exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as you come down into a crouch position and then exhale as you come onto the floor in a seated position. Taking the legs out long, we're gonna keep the right leg long, take the right left foot over the top of the right knee, place it down on the outside. Coming into half Lord of the Fishes. So you're thinking about meeting your thigh to your stomach, reaching around with your right arm around your left knee, inhaling to lift, exhaling to twist to look over the left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And unravel yourself and switch sides. So left leg goes long, right leg comes over, repeating the exact same pose on the other side, hooking that left arm around that right thigh, inhaling to lift and lengthen, exhaling to look over that right shoulder. Two deep breaths. And then exhale, release. Unravel the legs and we're gonna slide onto our backs now. So coming onto our backs, taking the heels or the feet just below the bum so they're flat on the floor, knees are up. We're going to inhale as we lift the hips off the floor, shuffle the shoulders underneath the um, back and come into bridge. So clasp the hands together and push the hands as you exhale towards the ankles. You could even grab a hold of the ankles if you want to, whichever variation, yogi's choice. Take two more deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale and slowly lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Let your spine reset on the floor and then inhale as you Bring those knees in towards your chest for Apanasta. We're going to inhale as we lift our nose to knees. Exhale to lower. Two more times. Inhale, nose to knees. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, nose to knees. Exhale, lower. Take the hands out wide now in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. And as we exhale, we're going to drop the knees all the way over to the left. Inhale to lift and twist the head towards the right, keeping those shoulders glued to the floor. You can press down on the outer thigh, extend that top leg, whatever you feel like you need to do. Just make sure those shoulders remain glued and just take five deep breaths. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Take one last deep breath all the way in. And then exhale completely. And on your next inhale, lift the head and the knees back to center. Exhale, drop the knees all the way over to the right. Inhale to lift and twist the head towards the left. And again, you can press down on the outer thigh or extend that top leg. Just make sure those shoulders are glued to the floor and take five deep breaths. The 
last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you lift your knees and your head back to center. Take the hold of your knees and rock from side to side, massage that lower back. And then just gently bring the soles of the feet together. Allow the feet to come to the floor and let the knees go out wide. And just take five more deep breaths here to finish our practice. The hands can either place on the inner thighs or fall out to the side. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you bring your knees back together. Come all the way up to seated. And we'll finish with one final deep inhale as we lift the hands up above the head, reaching up tall palms together as we exhale to the forehead. Kind thoughts. To the lips. Kind words. To the heart. Kind feelings. Namaste.